So I just want to say, see the way that you've got water in this equation? The importance of water can't be underestimated because remember, in the light dependent reactions, you've got these waters and they're actually split right, in the reactions by the oxygen evolving complex, which will create three things for us. You've got electrons, okay? Now the electrons uh, are released from the water and they are involved in the electron transport chain down through the membrane. And that will do two things. It will pump hydrogens across the membrane, which will then result in the production of ATP as those hydrogens go back out through the membrane. The electrons will also then go further down from photosystem uh, one and give us NADPH, reducing NADPH. So you get those two energy stores from the electrons. We also get hydrogen, which will drive again the ATP production as it builds up in the inner membrane and then is moved out through the ATP synthase complex. And then we get oxygen. And a low oxygen, can you see that in the bottom there? A low oxygen is not actually used by the plants. It's a very important byproduct because the oxygen in the air is what we breathe and plants produce it. Okay, so there you go, the splitting of water, and it's called hydro for water. Lysis hydrolysis, if you want to say it quickly, hydrolysis. And uh, that, again, the electron also is replenishes almost instantaneously the electron that is lost from the chlorophyll molecule every time light knocks it out into higher energy store plane to get captured by other uh, complexes so that it goes down the oxygen transport chain. Mm -hmm.